problem. Yeah. So I don't know a lot. Um, I was like, not sure how much time we have today, but we had a couple of questions we just wanted to get uh, for our Supergirl audience. Um, the first of which I'm sure is probably a question you've answered before. Greg Berlanti comes to you. You've already written Arrow. You've written Flash. And he says, I'm going to do a Supergirl show. It's unlike anything else before because it has the S. Right. Uh, arguably, Superman has this most iconic theme that everybody recognizes. How do you approach doing the Supergirl theme? Uh, it was extremely intimidating. Yeah. <laughs> so um, after I after I cleaned myself up from my fetal position, I yeah. decided to uh, get to work. But he wanted he wanted the the pilot of the series to somewhat be an homage stylistically to the Donner films. Sure, yeah. Um, as opposed to the Supergirl movie. Right. Um, so it was, you know, I had to I had to approach it in a John Williams style or try, but that's a, that's the highest bar to try to hit yeah. as a composer. Yeah. So after... You know, once you get sort of the, I guess it's going to be an orchestral style as opposed to like arrow and flash very electronic with orchestra. Yeah. Um, so then it was, it was just, I do what I always do, which is on a new project, just close myself off in the dark room for a few days. Yeah. Surrounded myself with images of her flying. I was going to say, I remember from the you, comic books. You, you sent out a tweet of a yeah. picture of her. Yeah, I had to take that down pretty quickly because like, that's not the suit. Oh, like, yeah. No, it's... It's not for the... Yeah, it's just for the... And just, you know, you try things and um, I just want to make it a really strong, like, powerful theme. Arrow had his darkness and Flash was a very, you know, uh, turbulent, propulsive theme. And this I just want to be a bold, yeah. almost like a two-statement theme, you know, so you could yeah. whistle it. What's funny is the Comic-Con after the pilot, I was doing an interview like this and they asked me to sing the... Uh, Supergirl theme I couldn't remember. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so it worked really well. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was. But but then there was always the possibility, but not for sure that they would cross over. Right. And it wasn't until you know cause they were on different networks, mm -hmm. but there was a possibility. So I had to also be in a style that could be matched up. Well, that's actually that's so great. it sort of started morphing more towards the Arrowverse sound. Yeah, that's a, a great um, follow-up question because I think uh, on, when Supergirl was on CBS and it was episode 18, they announced I think it was 18. The Flash Cross. Yeah, yeah. And there's there's a a theme where you interwo like interweave both Supergirl and Flash, and they're running through the almost all the way out to the desert at some point. Yeah, when they first meet. Yeah. Um, so you you say that you're writing in the Arrowverse tone. So you're you're consciously trying to write these themes so that they can be interwoven and interconnected. Yeah, and it's funny because people ask me, how do you do the crossover themes? It's it's just a mashup. It's I mean, it's not that difficult. It sounds all impressive, but yeah. Um, I tried to I tried to make all the shows in the Arrowverse have their own sound, but there's some commonality where they can be blended. Right. You know, as opposed to say you've got a jazz orchestra playing country music, it would just be a little weird. But yeah. Um, but that was a particularly hard crossover theme because in music terms, Supergirl has a very uh, it's called a triplet or like a like a sort of a gallop feel, and Flash is very straight. Yeah. I was like, how am I gonna put the two together? But it was fun. Those it, crossovers are really fun. Yeah. To do. It worked out really well because it's so easy to visualize their character from the theme. So oh, you hear you. you hear that. Um, you hear Flash's kind of, I don't want to say jittery, because, but his energy because he's so yeah. fast. Yeah. You hear that in his theme, and, and then you transpose that with, you have Supergirl's kind of boldness. And you, when I first heard that um, in the crossover, it was clear, it was like, these two characters are, are kind of intermingling now for the first time. Um, our next question, so... This is kind of a little bit about production. Um, everybody on our site, we love watching the show, we love listening to the music. 
And we know from uh, the cast and crew that they film on an eight day filming schedule. Yeah. Where in all of that process do you get the show? When do they give so, it to you to? So we just went up and toured the sets last week. Right. And they were filming episode one. Uh huh. And they did, they filmed for eight days. I won't get that uh, to start on until the end of August. Oh, wow. So it's not that it takes them that long to edit it, but there's a lot that they go through. Um, so we have, once 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 I get the locked version, which yeah. is the finished version, um, I, will, I have about eight days myself to... Oh, wow, okay. So it's the same kind of turnaround. Um, and so it's really helps once you get into, I mean, we're third season next year. Right. And once you're at that point, you can move a little faster because you've got established themes, sounds, yep. templates, canvases. Um, but there's always like the new big bad that's going to be uh, with us this year, which yeah. I can't tell you because I have no idea, actually. Oh, you do? I haven't been told. I don't ask oh, okay. early. I want to be surprised because I'm, I'm a fanboy myself. Okay. So. Um, so we know, but we won't say. But. Okay. <laughs> um, so that's interesting. So you'll you'll need to kind of. Craft I'll see. I'll, I'll see early cuts. Yeah. Um, probably even like, like next week or the end of next week. But I won't start on it because I like to wait until it's finished. Sure. Um, so speaking of the tracks. But like um, last year at this time, I was told they're bringing Superman on. Right. Which was an even more intimidating. Yeah. <laughs> And they had said, I said, you know, let's go license, go license John's theme and use that. There is no other Superman theme. Um, and they were like, no, it's, it's he's his own version. Yeah. Superman, he wants his own theme. So that was incredibly intimidating. Yeah. So that I actually started as if it was going to be a new show. I started working on that theme before I ever saw yeah. the version of the uh, That's picture. interesting. And Tyler, Tyler's Superman was so well received. Yeah. And I think... Um, I think that actually came in credit to your music because you have this scene where he's running down the alleyway right. and he does the shirt yeah. rip. And are, so are you writing music to the shirt rip and trying to? Take yeah, yeah. Those? yeah, I well, I'd written that as a as its own theme, the Superman theme. Yeah. Um, and then when the, when I got the scene, it, it's just a matter of you know kind of tweaking it to hit, and when he does yeah. that, it's, it's fun. How do you revisit that? So, you know, we have the finale, season two finale. You've got Superman, he arrives on the ship and he's... Evil. Evil. Yeah. How do you how do you tweak that theme? Just like you said, just tweak it. Yeah? yeah. Just change... Just change, tweak it. Yeah? That's interesting. Um, so speaking of tracks, there's one that I think I know on our site is off the rails. Everybody talks about it. It's synonymous with the scenes that are the most powerful and it's the harnessing anger track oh, yeah. from season yeah, one. Yeah, that, that, I've gotten more I'm sure you get tweets it. and emails about that one yeah. track, it's funny. Um, well, I think for one thing that comes from that, that was a fantastic scene in season one. Yeah. I mean, it was early on, it kind of said just visually what the show was going to be like. Yep. It kind of set the tone. You know, the pilot, of course, set the tone, but that one was like, wow, that's... Um, it was it was done a different way, very stylized. And then they went to this moment where it was all music. They went, no sound except music. Yeah. Um, so I just, it was one of those pieces that I just really wanted to get in her head. And, yeah. Because it was not just about beating, people call it the red, what was his name, red? Uh, red Tornado. Yeah. They call it the Red Tornado track. I'm like, yeah. it's not the Red Tornado track. It's about, it's, though. It's about her inner struggle and, and her loneliness, actually. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's fun. It's fun that you get, your sight blows up over that track, too. Oh, all the time. So that theme is actually revisited when Kara's pushing this alien spaceship out of orbit, more yeah. or less. Um, that, those scenes are are the ones that all of our fan base are always talking to. And for whatever reason, that track has resonated with, I think, the fan base largely because of how it, like you said, it's reflecting Supergirl's inner thoughts. Um, one of the questions, maybe on a personal level, that I have to ask, I've listened to that track 
more than any other track on the soundtrack. Wow. <laughs> and I hear, there's a moment where I can see Super Rose who's making that terrifying scream out of anger. Mm -hmm. And I just don't know if there's a moment where you're including the scream or if it's just an instrument that you're doing that it almost sounds like she's screaming. I don't know, but it's maybe it's a... Uh, I don't even know what the instrument is. You know the timpani, I think, or... Yeah, I can't remember I, what, what, what would be sounding like that I don't you. know, but uh, it's just the way that... that it's that actually me it. screaming. It's just me <laughs> screaming. <Yeah. laughs> right. I need more time! But... So it's all instrumental. That whole track is yeah, it's all instrumental. Wow, it's, very interesting. It was no, it was a fun track to write. And, yeah. But you know, the thing with all the Berlanti shows is he has those moments where you know you think you're watching a superhero show, but it's he's, he just creates human dramas. So yeah. when he when we have scenes like that, they really push the the human emotion. I think those stick with all of us. Right. Um, and and it's great because as a composer, it allows you to do what what you want to do, which is write this big emotional piece. Yeah. Um, so the other thing that I mean, there's literally a, a huge forum post right now where people are, are begging me to ask, do you have any information on a season soundtrack? Two? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, it's okay. coming, but we don't have a release date. So as it's, long as it's we know that going it's to be. Oh no, it's coming. Yeah. Okay. And it'll be before the premiere. Perfect. So that's that's the only information I have. Okay. Um, yeah, it's a record business changes every year. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, one year it's the, the physical CD comes out, and then they push to streaming. Yeah. This year it's looking like streaming's trying to push physical. To have, it's you know, it's complicated, but it's coming out. Yeah. Um, all of the all Arrowverse soundtracks are coming out. Perfect. Um, as far as um, the music of the show, do you have any um, responsibilities for non-score music? Do you, like Songs? Yeah, like what they choose or... No, there, there are times where um, I might say, I, I think you need a song here instead of score. Yeah. Just because songs do a really different thing, you know, score is more manipulative. Yeah. And if it feels like a moment where you're, you shouldn't really be manipulating, but you need something. Yeah. You know, so we'll uh, season Kent, the music supervisor, and I will talk and say, why don't you pitch a song for this? Yeah. Or there's also places where it's, hey, this song, it's weird. Can I try to score this scene? Sure. Um, and they love that because it saves them a lot of money. Yeah. yeah there's <laughs> no license. But no, we don't. We don't pick the songs. Okay. Did you have anything with the musical? Crossover? Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was I was a music director on that and. Um, did everything from uh, some arranging to um, re we recorded the actors singing. Yeah. We did the, um, uh, the final score. Yeah. It was it was an intense project. It took yeah. about six weeks to do the musical, whereas these episodes take a week. Yeah. Um, but it was, it was just craziness because you have to do a demo version of the song and there are different styled arrangements so like each of us in the studio took a different arrangement yep. and then we once that was approved we had to send it to the actors so they could learn it yeah. um, and then what they did was since they're in Vancouver and I'm in North Hollywood we recorded by Skype so I would just listen over Skype and they would sing which was fun so yeah um, and it was actually the first time I'd met Grant oh, right. on Flash. Uh, it was the first time I met him was during the um, the musical yeah. over Skype. Yeah. <laughs> Melissa, I'm out when we uh, filmed the pilot. Yeah, they're great people too. Yeah, very very sweet. Um, let me... I don't know if there will be another musical. That's a good question. That's yeah. I would enjoy it more this time because I'd be prepared for. I think you know we weren't prepared for all that happens. In it, you know. Are you working on Black Lightning as well? No. No. Because no. that's not even. And to my knowledge, it's not going to be part of the universe. Right. Okay. Have you? Um, have they talked to you at all about doing the four-part crossover this year? Oh yeah. 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 So. 
<laughs> talking that, more about blending. That was actually that was actually my favorite thing we did last year. Besides yeah. the musical was the four part crossover. Yeah, blending all those themes. Except that it felt like Supergirl didn't get much of a part in the crossover. Yeah. But this year it's going to be all four. That's yeah, that's what we're hearing. And I'm excited to see. And now how that they they've rearranged that. how they air. Right. The order they air, it's gonna be interesting how the because yeah. you know, last year she started Legends ended it. Yeah. This year they've moved the the airing order around, so yeah. it'll be interesting.